one. Our bodies clothed against air, cold enough to freeze water where it stands. Jeans and I stand and look skyward to the northwest, sipping coffee in the dark of our yard. Crazy enough, we too, to watch rock burn in the sky as the matter and the atoms of the matter break down, component parts reassembling into something altogether new. Two. This we will not see again. Ninety years will pass. We will not see this rain of rock, of fire, of ash mingling with the air we breathe. We will not taste on our tongues burning sky, crackling energy, as steam from our breath swirls a silvered motion away from our bundled up selves. Big as fists, big as elephant heads, as small as a grain of sand, meteor sizzled dark sky two hours before dawn, November's July 4th fireworks raining bright fire down on us, incandescent particles exploding in the air, connecting us to all that is in this infinite expanse where we spin in perfect symmetry. Three. Ninety years will pass. Politicians will die, thank God. Captains of industry will die. Priests will die. And monks and James and me. Before meteors meet us again, lighting a dark night with embers, we will all die. Four. It gets better. <laughs> Bringing fire, meteors will shimmer a dark sky. They will pour upon the earth, spread dust from places we have not seen. They will come again out of darkness as before, when the world still steamed and from the chill of its new birth. They will bring with them fire, a breath they will breathe into bones and dust and ash. They will breathe into the air, stain the sea, vapor into clouds of fresh matter in. Who will stand in the cold dark then? Who will smell the fire in the night? Will they coat themselves against frost and ice, drink the black coffee of morning before light? Will they delight in a spectacle of fiery mists? Will they fix their eyes on heaven 